Hello, my name is Stiley Hayward. I would like to welcome you to the Blessed Hope Ministry. We are a King James grounded family Bible study. These lessons are not to be a substitute for regular church attendance. Nightly I direct my family through the Bible by chapter and verse. We request you to join us and to study from God and His Son Jesus Christ. You may have permission to like, send, or encourage our studies with family or friends. Edification of what God has and what He desires in our life. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. You may use our studies, but I request that you do not abuse them. For YouTube videos, subscribe below for more videos. And place the thumbs up and leave a comment or email me. Thank you. Numbers 26. And it came to pass, after the plague, chapter 25, the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Eliezer, the son of Aaron the priest, saying, Take the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel, from twenty years old and upward through their, throughout their father's house, all that are able to go to war in Israel. Now we saw this in chapter 1. We see this requirement in chapter 1, verse 3. Anybody over 20 and their military strength, they're not able to go to war, they weren't counted. So it would be males. Be males that are strength, that are willing, that are not afraid, that have no defects. And Moses and Eliezer the priests spake with them in the plains of Moab, by Jordan, the river, near Jericho, saying, Take the sum of the people from twenty years old and upward, as the Lord commanded. Moses and the children of Israel, which went forth out of the land of Egypt. Now, in the law, it's prescribed not to take up the census. And for that case in the law, is you know, let's count up the people and see how strength we are, how many people we got. Woo! And by the lowest army of Gideon, there was victory. But what we're doing is, numbers one, we rounded them all up. Let's see how many we got. Numbers 26, we're going to look at how many people died by the plagues. We're going to look by the end of this chapter. All the people in Numbers chapter 1 are dead, except Joshua and Caleb. So we're going to see the vast difference, and let's see what I can see over here. Uh, according to this date, Numbers 1, it was 1490, and this date here is 1452, so the 40 year, duh. But I need to look. 40 years. So what has happened in 40 years? Verse 5. Reuben, the eldest son of Israel, the children of Reuben, Hanak, of whom cometh the family of the Hanakites, and Pelu, the family of the Pelites, of Hezron, the family of the Hezronites, of Carmi, the family of the Carmites. These are the families of the Reubenites, and they that were numbered of them forty and three thousand and seven hundred and thirty. Forty three thousand seven hundred and thirty. In Numbers chapter one, it was forty six thousand three hundred. They lost two thousand seven hundred and seventy men. That's Reuben. The sons of Pelu, Eleb, and the sons of Eleb, Ne. Neil and Dathan and Abiram. This is that Dathan and Abiram, which were famous in the congregation, number 16, who strove against Moses and against Aaron, in the, <coughs> excuse me, in the company of Korah, which strove against the Lord. Now look at that, against Moses, against Aaron, against the Lord. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up together with Korah. When that company died, what time the fire devoured 250 men, and they became a sign. You better not rebel against God again. Notwithstanding, the children of Korah died not. There were some of the Korah that survived. Not all Korah would, went in and died. The sons of Simeon, after their family, of Nimeo, the family of the Nimeoites, of Jamin, the family of the Jaminites, of Jachin, the family of the Jachinites, of Zerah, the family of the Zerites, 
of Shul, the family of the Shulites. These are the families of the Simonites, two, excuse me, 20 and 2,200. 22,200 in chapter 1. Ooh. I got only the right number here written down. But if you go back to chapter 1, I'm missing some digits. The children of Gad, verse 15, after their families. Of Zephon, the family of the Zephonites. Of Haggai, that's not the prophet Haggai. The family of the Haggarites. Of Shunai, the family of the Shunanites. Of Oznai, the family of the Oznites. Of Eri, the family of the Erites. You can say that when you do it like this, a Bible study, you read every word of the Bible. Of Arod, the family of the Erites. Of Arai, the family of the Erites. These are the families of the children of Gad, according to those that were numbered of them, 40,500. Okay, 40,500 in chapter 1, there was 45,650, a loss of 5,150 men. Judah. The sons of Judah were Ur and Onan. And Ur and Onan died in the land of Canaan. And the sons of Judah were... Oh, wait a minute. Verse 20. I'm going to read again. The sons of Judah, after their families, were Shelah, the family of the Shelahites. Pharaohs, that's one of Jesus Christ, the family of the Pharaohs. And Zerah, the family of the Zerites. The sons of Pharaohs were Hezron, the family of the Hezronites. Of Hamuel, the family of the Hezulites. These are the families of Judah, according to those that were numbered of them three score and sixteen thousand five hundred. Seventy six thousand five hundred. Chapter one, there were seventy four thousand six hundred. Judah gained a thousand nine hundred and sixty men. Of the sons of Issachar, after their families, of Tola, the family of the Tolites, of Pua, the family of the Punites, of Jashub, the family of the Jashubites, of Shimra, the family of the Shimrites. These are the family of Issachar, according to those that were numbered of them, three score and four thousand and three hundred. Sixty four thousand three hundred in chapter one was 54,400. They gained 9,900 men. That's a lot in 40 years. Of the sons of Zebulun, after their family, she read the family of Sardarites. Now look how that, that spelling changed totally. Of Elon, the family of the Elonites. Of Jahil, the family of the Jahiliites. These are the families of Zebulunites. According to those that were numbered of them, three score thousand five hundred. So 60,500, they had 57,400, they gained 3,100. The sons of Joseph, after their family, were Manasseh and Ephraim. Remember, they're split off into two. Levi is not considered a tribe. So Joseph has his two sons. Of the sons of Manasseh, of Micah, Micah, the family of the Micahites. And Micah begat Gilead, and Gilead come the family of the Gileanites. These are the sons of Gilead, of Jezer, the family of the Jezerites. Hecut, the family of the Hicklites. Of Azrael, the family of the Azrelites. Of Shechem, the family of the Shechemites. And of she Shemaniah, the family of the Shemaniahites. And of Hefer, the family of the Heferites. And of Zulifafad, the son of Hefer, had no sons but daughters. Now these daughters, Z Heldad were Mahala and Noah, Hagla, Milka, and Tizra. You're going to see these names again. They're going to proclaim a land possession by their father who had no sons. These are the family of Manasseh. And those that were numbered of them, 52,700. 52,700. They had 32,700. And they, that should have been a gain. They gained 20,500. These are the sons of Ephraim after their families. Of Shashiah, the family of the Shashiahites. Of Beaker. The family of Bacharites, that, that's a name spelling, 
change. Of Tehan, the family of the Tehanites. These are the sons of Shethia, of Eran, the family of the Enanites. These are the families of the sons of Ephraim, according to those that were numbered of them, thirty and two thousand five hundred. These are the sons of Joseph, after their families. Ephraim ha has thirty two thousand five hundred. They had forty thousand five hundred for a loss of eight thousand men. The sons of Benjamin, after their families, of Bela, the family of the Belaites, of Ashbel, the family of the Ashbelites, of Haharim, the family of the Harimites, of Shepham, the family of the Shephanites, of Hufham, the family of the Huffanites. And the sons of Bela were Ard and Naaman, of Ard, the family of the Aronites, and of Naaman, the family of the Nemites. These are the sons of Benjamin, after their families, they were that were they that were numbered of them were forty and five thousand and six hundred. Forty five thousand six hundred, they had a total of thirty five thousand four hundred, they gained ten thousand two hundred. These are the sons of Dan after their families of Shuham, the family of the Shunites. These are the family of Dan after their family. All the family of the Shunites, according to those that were numbered of them, were three score and four thousand and four hundred. Sixty four thousand four hundred they had. Sixty two thousand seven hundred for a gain of a thousand seven hundred men. Of the children of Asher, after their families, of Jimma, the, fam the family of the Jimmonites, of Jesuai, the family of the Jesuites, of Bariah, the family of the Barariahites. Look at that spelling. Oh, does the, that would mess up an English teacher. And the sons of Bariah, the, the, of Heber, the family of the Heberites, of Machali, the family of the Machalites. My tongue's starting to get dumb. And the name of the daughter of Asher was Sarah. Oh, I know that name. They were only like that. These are the families of the sons of Asher, according to those that were numbered of them. Who were fifty and three thousand and four hundred. Fifty three thousand four hundred. They had a total of forty one thousand five hundred for a gain of eleven thousand nine hundred. Of the sons of Nephtali, after their families, of Jezio, the family of Jezuites, of Gunai, the family of Gunites, of Jezir, the family of Jezurites, of Shilam, the family of Shemelites. These are the families of Nephtali according to their family, and they that were numbered of them were forty and five thousand and four hundred. Forty five thousand four hundred, they had fifty three thousand four hundred, a loss of eight thousand. These were the number of the children of Israel, six hundred thousand and a thousand seven hundred and thirty. Six hundred and one thousand seven hundred and thirty. Numbers 1 had six, 603,550 for a loss total of 1,820. So they went down. And the Lord said, still a lot of people under Moses. That's just the people 20 that are able to go to war. Congregation. That's not the children. That's not the, the Levites. That's not the, the women. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Unto thee, the land, Palestine, shall be divided for inheritance according to the number of names. So there's the dividance you're going to see in Joshua. Again, you're going to see those, those uh, the daughters of Ephraim. They're going to show up. To many thou shalt give the more inheritance. The guy's got a hundred, he's going to get more. The guy's got fifty, he's going to get less. To the few thou shalt give the less inheritance. To every one shall his inheritance be given according to those that were numbered of him. So it goes by the, the countings. So Numbers 26 sets forth for Joshua. As Moses writes this in what we call the book of Numbers. That lays off the plan and the families for Joshua to divide the land. Notwithstanding land shall be divided by lot. You're going to cast some kind of lot to where they go. According to the names of the tribes of their fathers, they shall inherit. Benjamin, Dan, Asher, Judah, 
so forth. And these are they that were numbered the Levites. Okay, here's the Levites. They don't get part of the inheritance. But we're all going to look at the Levites. After their families of Gershon, of the family of the Gershonites, of Kohath, the family of Kohathites, of Merari, the family of the Merarites. These are the families of the Levites, the family of the Libnites, the family of the Hebronites, the family of the Mahalites, the family of the Mushinites, the family of the Koharites, and Kohath begat Amram. And the name of Amram's wife was Jochebed. And the daughter of Levi, who her mother bare to Levi in Egypt, and she bare unto Amram, Aaron, Moses, and Miriam, their sister. So there's Aaron, Moses, and Miriam. There's their, their mother and father, Amram and Jochebed. Jochebed was a daughter of Levi. So Amram married into the Levi tribe. So Aaron, Moses, and Miriam are truly pure Levites. Now there was no law in Egypt that you, you, as you saw in Leviticus, about marrying Cain. There was no law then. Now there's a law. When Cain killed his brother, there was no law about murder. That came afterward. So unto Aaron was born Nadab and Abihu, Eleazar and Ithamar. And they having by who died when they offered strange fire before the Lord. And we know that story. And those that were numbered of them were twenty and three thousand. Twenty three thousand Levites. All males from, from a month old and upward. So a month old, males and up. Twenty three thousand. For they were not numbered among the children of Israel, which we just did. Because there was no inheritance given them among the children of Israel. So when we read Numbers chapter 1 verse 1 to 56. That is the division of the land. Levi doesn't get it. But God says count them anyway. Because they're not forbidden from the tribe. They're still of Israel. They're just the special priest class. They're the special family of the Levites. Remember all priests are Levites. But not all Levites are priests. But they do serve. They do do minister unto the children of Israel. So don't forget them. They're there. And these are they that were numbered by Moses and Eleazar the priest. Aaron's died. Who numbered the children of Israel in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho. But among these there was not a man of them. Who Moses and Aaron the priest numbered chapter 1. When they numbered the children of Israel in the wilderness of Sinai chapter 1. Everybody in chapter 1, those numbers, they're dead. They're gone. Only one left right now is Moses. For the Lord has said of them, they shall surely die in the wilderness. And these was not left. Or that there can't see with my mark. Yeah. There was not left a man of them, save Caleb the son of Jephunneh, and Joshua the son of Nun. So the ones that were numbered of Numbers chapter one that are still alive is Moses, Caleb, and Joshua. And I gotta wonder with Eliezer. I. I I gotta keep looking on that one. And Ithamar, uh, Aaron's other son. What's his other son's name? Ithamar and Eliezer. Cause I don't know. That's probable, but I'm not sure. But we'll leave it just like that. 